Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In this one, I want to very quickly show you a few different authentication methods we can use when calling an API. We'll cover a basic authentication and how we can use tokens. I'll have a complete example where we can code along together so you can fully understand it. Let's get started. Starting out inside of a text editor, I'll be using Python to call these APIs. So to do that, I'll import the request library. Using this, what we can do is call API endpoints and get information from services. If you're unfamiliar with the request library, I have a full video that shows you how to use it and why you might want to, and that'll be linked down below. Taking an example from that video, just to show you what a request does, is we can send a request to a URL and get some information back from that service. So let's go ahead and run this, and we'll get back a response from this URL that should just be a password, which we do. So as you can see, we don't need a password or a token or anything along those lines to access this service. But sometimes services want to selectively choose who to give a response to. So what they'll do is use either basic authentication or a token. We'll take a look at a few different examples of this. One very popular example of basic authentication is Atlassian. So this is the company that backs things like Jira and Trello and you can use a basic authentication to get information from those services. As you see, they say you can supply basic auth headers, and what we can do is do this using Python in the request library. Whenever you're referencing someone's API, you'll have to go to their API documentation and see the format that they expect. In this case, you see that they're asking for a user email and then an API token, and they give instructions on how to get that. I already have that API token created, so we'll just dive in to using it. So to do basic authentication in this case, all we need to do is to use a built-in keyword argument in a request called auth. We can do that. So let's say response. I'll go ahead and comment these few lines out. So a very plain example of a basic authentication would just be passing those into that keyword argument. We have a response. We'll call a request to the URL that we want of that API reference. Then after that, we'll implement our basic authentication. With requests, we can just say auth, and this will be a tuple where the first position has our user email, which was specified in this documentation. So the one I used to sign up, I'll place in here. Then the second position will be that token. I'll go ahead and say Atlassian API token up here and copy that over. Of course, you don't want to share API tokens publicly because they do give access to your account just like a password would. So I'll be sure to go back and change this later on. Awesome. So we're using our basic authentication here to get a response. Now let's go ahead and say print response. We should get back a 200 if they're able to verify our API token and our request, which we do. So that's a very brief example of a basic authentication that uses something like an email and a token. I want to show you one more use case. That way you get a very broad idea. Sometimes services will have very special parameters that they have you pass in to authenticate your token. And we can do that by using headers in a request. An example of this is a service called Zenhub. So on Zenhub, what they ask for in their documentation is instead of a basic authentication like how we had on the last one, is they have this special X authentication token that they're asking you to pass in in your authentication header. And I'll show you how to make a custom header where we can include things like this. So what we'll do is go ahead and define those headers, which will just be a dictionary. Then our dictionary values will be this string here. We'll take this and paste it in, and then we'll assign a value of our Zenhub token. We'll go back up and say Zenhub token and paste in our token value. And that's it for our authentication header. It's fairly simple, but can be confusing if you've never seen one. So what this is, is we're just passing a little bit of information about who we are, and that information lets them know that they should return a valid response because we actually have an account with information. So. Now, the normal way to do this is you'll have a URL base, and this will just be the API base URL that we'll concatenate onto later. For Zenhub, in this example, Zenhub 
as this base URL of api.zenhub.com. Now, in the API documentation, we can find any of those resources that we want to get information back from. Next, we'll say something like request URL. We'll just be equal to this URL base, and then we'll concatenate it with whatever trailing URL we need. So in this case, I'm just going to copy this over from the API documentation. And don't worry too much about the specific path of this URL. All it is is just a reference to a specific API endpoint of the ZenHub URL. It changes quite a bit from service to service, so you'll have to go and reference the documentation on the specific service that you're working with. In this case, what I'm doing is going to a certain repo ID and pulling all of my ZenHub workspaces. Now that I have this URL that I want to send the request to, all I have to do is say response in the same way that we did above. We can pass in this request URL. And now we'll need to include these headers that we created above. This is super simple in the request library. And all we have to do is use a keyword argument of headers and pass in our headers. Awesome. Now we can just print response.json. And we should get back information about my workspaces in that repo ID, which we do. So I know it's a quick video, but I wanted it to be a very fast reference for anyone that may have forgotten basic authentication or how to create custom headers using Python. If you have any questions or you want me to dive deeper into any specific content that I could have included here, please let me know and I'll be happy to create it. Until next time.